Hi everyone, welcome to this episode of Kuiper Labs. Um, to, in this video we're going to be talking about drawing circuit diagrams, thinking about our electricity topic. Uh, in this video, just quickly, we're going to go through a bit of a recap about what we mean by an electrical circuit. We're going to go through the concept of um, symbols that we use um, when we're drawing a diagram like this. And we're going to go through some of the rules that we use um, as to make our scientific diagrams, our circuit diagrams, accurate um, and consistent and also neat and readable. Okay, let's kick into it. All right, so remember that we, in, in the, the previous video, go back and watch it if you need to, in our introduction to electricity, we introduced a really simple um, circuit. Okay, so we had a light bulb and we had a battery and we had some wires. Okay, and so the battery provides a source of electrical energy, um, electricity that can flow through the wires to our light bulb, um, as, and, and so the light can turn on. Okay, And so we said that each circuit has three um, parts to it. A power source, a path, and a load, as the technical terms for it. So uh, uh, where the energy starts from, how it travels, and where it's somewhere we it is being used okay but you can see that I mean I, I'm clearly not an art teacher or an artist by any stretch of the imagination so the diagram that I've drawn here is pretty rough um, it represents something meaningful but we need a way to be a little bit more um, consistent um, you need ways that um, the diagrams that I draw and the diagrams that you draw for the same setup can be represented in the same way um, neatly and efficiently Okay, so I'm going to teach you some of the symbols that we use in the diagrams we draw and also um, some of the, the rules to how we do these, these diagrams neatly. Okay. Okay, so I've listed off a number of different items that we um, would include in an electrical circuit. Now, some of these are ones that, um, some of these are things that will seem a bit more familiar to you, um, others won't be but I'm going to help talk you through the symbols that we use to start with, just to help kind of um, give us a, a foundation here. Okay, so the power supply or the power source is where our, our source of energy comes from. Okay, and so we represent that with a combination of um, a short line and a long line, uh, represent, re represented like this. Um, so that, and then depending on the size of our power supply or how that's arranged, we might have a couple of these in sequence okay but the same sort of idea of long line and short line okay and then we're representing a light globe so there's two kind of ways that we could do this or that you might see it being done the first way kind of looks like that so it kind of looks like a, the silhouette of a, a person's head inside a circle the other one is a circle with a cross through it both of those represent a, a light globe that you might use okay and then what we have here is in, in electrical circuits that we use a switch, uh, a switch to turn the circuit um, on or off to allow the electricity to flow. Um, and but so, you know, so it's like we would have at our wall. Okay, but so this is what we, this is what kind of what it looks like. The end, so it's showing the ends of the switch and then the wires kind of moving out from it. That when that switch is open, it looks like this. We're seeing a break in that line. Um, but when it's closed, we see it looks like that, okay, to show that it actually is, can, it can flow all the way through. Okay, two items that we would use um, that when we're measuring things in a circuit, one's called an ammeter, which helps to, to measure how many particles are flowing through our circuit, how much flow there is, and a voltmeter, um, it reflects just how much energy that, that flow is carrying, um, how hard it's being pushed through the circuit. And so an ammeter, um, has a letter A inside a circle, a voltmeter has a letter V inside a circle, okay? And then um, what we would say in an electrical circuit, um, we have this concept of resistance to flow. The things that slow down the flow of particles um, are called a resistor. Um, now, we use resistors for all sorts of things. Um, we use it when we want to create heat. So you like your average kind of like a bar heater that you might use, um, like, a, like an old-fashioned heater, or even inside like a little blow heater, where it's got a combination with a fan as well. What that does is that um, it forces the, elect 
um, the, the flow to slow down through it, um, and then it passes that energy off as heat. Um, and so what we can do is that there are um, some resistors we call fixed, and that look like this, or um, they can look like a little rectangular box, okay, so that they have a certain amount of resistance to them. A variable resistor is one that we can change. So a variable resistor is like the dimmer switch that you would use um, in at home. Okay, so it's got the same sort of squeals, apologies for my neighbour's dog, um, and it's got an arrow going across it. Likewise, it's the same rectangular box, but with an arrow going across it, showing that we can change how much resistance goes through that, or, or that that provides. Um, that's, that's how a dimmer switch works, that you can turn it up or down to control how much energy flows through. If you only want a little bit and you only want a dim light, you can turn it one way. If you want to open it right up, get a bright light, you turn it the other way and you've kind of got everywhere in between. Okay, so these are the sorts of symbols that you would use um, to draw your diagram. Okay, so please make sure that you've, um, you've drawn those up very carefully. Um, we refer back to them often. Okay, so let's have a quick, have a, a quick discussion of some of the rules to do with um, how we draw electrical circuits. Okay, so some of the rules. Straight lines. Okay, so if you want to do nice, neat, straight lines, you need a ruler. Okay, just like any scientific diagram, if you're drawing a beaker and a retort stand and a Bunsen burner, you're using a ruler for straight lines, exactly the same sort of thing when we're drawing a circuit. Okay, um, what we we do, um, we, you, we draw, you'll, you'll see in a moment, I'll do an example, um, that we draw things being at right angles. So the general kind of circuit has this kind of rectangular sort of shape, okay? So I've just done it freehand now, but I would use a ruler and I would do a nice, neat, proper rectangle upon which I can put my power supply and I can put my light globe and maybe I can put my switch um, that's closed, okay? And so then it's actually all going along this rectangle, which is drawn at right angles. So I'll say right angles and then I'll put the word rectangle in brackets here to remind you that it has that sort of a shape, okay? And the so the order matters, all right? So um, what we're saying here is that electricity flows around a circuit um, in one particular direction, okay? So that this current, this flow of particles, um, w will flow around in a given direction. And what it does is it actually flows around from the positive end, which is the long line, all the way around to the other end, which is the negative, which is the short line. Okay, so it goes from positive to negative, the current. Okay, um, that's that's what we kind of we think about. Um, yeah, the the direction of of um, current flow. Okay, so what it what happens is that when you're drawing your circuit diagram, the order in which you kind of draw things reflects how the wires are actually connected, you know, so it's traveling from here into the switch and then into a light globe and then back around again, okay? So as opposed to the light globe coming first and then the switch coming afterwards, all right? So you need to make sure that you are careful in how you do that. Um, certainly you will get used to that with some practice, okay? Um, and so, yeah, it will get a bit easier. All right. Just going to do one quick example to show you and for you to copy into your books as you're as you're watching. And I have my ruler so you can um, to practice what I preach. Okay, so what we're going to have is we're going to have a circuit that's got a power supply. It's going to have a switch. It's going to have a globe, and it's going to have an ammeter to measure the flow of electricity through my circuit, okay? And it's going to go in that particular direction, okay? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually draw up a rectangle to start with, okay? All right, I'm going to use my ruler. And notice that I'm drawing it like a rectangle, so I get nice um, right angles. 
so that it's nice and neat. It's not sloppy, it's not freehand, it's not hope for the best. This is what it looks like. Okay, so I've um, got a power supply. So what I'm going to do now, I'm, I'm doing this with a whiteboard marker, yeah, I must admit, but you would do, could do this the very same thing with pencil. Okay, so I'm going to draw my power supply like this with two sets here to show that there's more energy going through. It, it doesn't really matter too much. But, okay, so then I've got a switch, and so it's my current is going around this way. So I'm going to draw my switch over here, and I'm going to draw my switch being open like that. Going from the switch, it goes around to the light globe, and I'm going to draw that over here. I'm going to do a circle, I'm going to do a cross through it to show my light globe, and then it's going around to an ammeter, and I'm going to do that on the last side over here, a circle with an A through the middle. Okay, so my current, um, so I can pick a different colour to help you visualise it, is going around in this direction. Okay, so it's going around, it flows in one direction. Um, and so, and it flows from positive around to negative. Okay, so flowing in that in that way. Okay, so you can see in this example, I've used a ruler. I've done things at right angles using a rectangle shape. I've used the correct symbols in the correct order that reflects the way that that energy is flowing. All right, so make sure that you copy this in, and then we can complete some follow-up examples. Thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.